30 years ago, when I first started out as a computer scientist, the field itself, and especially concepts like AI, were new. As the video shows, we live in a wonderful age where computing and AI can make a tangible difference to society, solving some of our biggest challenges. Three years ago, we started Google Research India with the mission to solve uniquely Indian challenges and create meaningful impact for a billion Indians. And much has happened since. Today, I'm excited to share with you the strides we have made alongside our partners where AI can help better lives every day. So let's talk about our work in three key areas. First, languages, agriculture, and healthcare. We believe technology has to be developed such that it is helpful for everyone. A laborer's daughter in Chhattisgarh who dreams of being an IAS officer should be able to access knowledge as easily as those who speak English in her native language and even dialect. Over the years, we have made some meaningful progress towards this vision. Gboard, for instance, allows you to type in over 60 Indian languages. Underrepresented languages like Maithili and even Sanskrit are supported by Google Translate. And models like Mural that our teams have developed can help understand complex queries in over 16 Indian languages. But we know there is more to be done. Recently, we announced an ambitious research project to build a model that will support the top 1,000 languages of the world. I'm proud to share the chapter of this work that is being done in India for India. The inspiration for this project came from a saying we learned back in school. Kos kos pe badle pani, char kos par vani. A nation of over 1.4 billion people, we speak over 1,500 languages, all in different dialects and accents. It is likely that we will all have a different version of the same simple sentence based on where we come from. To build an AI-based model that understood all these nuances across multiple languages, we would first need to understand those nuances ourselves and then train our models on inclusive data set representing this diversity. So, in collaboration with the Indian Institute of Science, or ISC, we have embarked on a journey called Project Varni, where ISC will aim to collect speech data from people across 773 districts of India. It's my pleasure to now invite the ISC director, Professor Govindan Rangarajan, to share more about the work already underway. Good afternoon. We are pleased to collaborate with Google on Project Vani, an effort that is fundamental to creating inclusive AI technology that truly reflects India. Vani is a unique initiative, and the data produced by it will uh, be one of its kind. The support from Google is crucial for meeting Vani's uh, goal of scaling the project Pan India. Art Park at IAC is a strategic executive uh, execution partner in this journey. Over the past few months, we have already gathered data from nearly 69 of the 773 districts uh, across India. In, in fact, it covers Indian states such as Chhattisgarh, Rajasthan, Karnataka, Uttar Pradesh, etc. So far, we have collected nearly 150 hours of data covering more than 30 languages from 841 different uh, PIN codes in a gender and age balanced manner. This also includes some of the endangered tribal languages such as Haibi. Uh, Vani data covers speakers coming from a wide range of education and uh, socioeconomic backgrounds. We have already started open sourcing this data by our website, and we also hope to add it to Bashini, India's national language translation uh, mission. We are very excited and hopeful to see uh, the helpful technology Vani enables. 